So this video is for in detail about this COVID market and how it can help or it may not help the investor specifically and what kind of opportunities are we expecting to come. So let's start this video right now. local real estate agent in Florida area we are helping tons of investors buyers and you know especially in this time right now so if you're one of them if you have more questions you want to know about the investment or you want to know about the about Florida in general then this channel is for you we make lots of videos every week and almost two to three videos we release every single week so make sure you subscribe our channel and you know like that button if you like my videos again if you have any suggestions you can comment me below you want to make, make me to any cover any other topics you let us know so now let's start before wasting any more time let's start the main video right now we are talking about the investor this time so investors i work almost like my 30 to 40 percent of the business is with investors i also do flipping you know uh, that's how i started my business so my, i'm originally from medical field i'm a physical therapist but eventually i shifted my career to real estate and the first thing i tried is the flipping and that's how we started this more and more and eventually I'm practicing as a real estate agent and also as an investor so I'm just giving you my background uh, what kind of experience I have if I'm working with investors so so let's start first breaking down this market what is happening right now and then I can answer the questions what I'm getting usually on my channel or also through my clients if you see the Florida market before COVID also it, it's it's been a little tough market uh, overall in Florida because Florida has a lot of different kinds of buyers are available it's just not the local people right so there are lots of vacation homes people buy the winter birds they live here so and also in and out happening because of this it, it is more like a tourist state so in general florida has you know tough market in a way the pricing wise and on a buyer side however it's really great market for investor because that is great because the rental market has been booming in florida since a while and it's been still going upscale so even before COVID, the rental has been giving lots of profit. So in general, about 7% to 10% ROI in return minimum to someone who is investing in Florida. That also depends where you're investing. Like if you invest in Jacksonville, you make different amount of money. If you're investing in South Florida, Central Florida, that's also the location matters too. This is more in general, I'm talking the average, that's minimum you make seven to 10% if you're investing here. Now let's talk about more what is happening at this moment. So COVID has created this inventory issue. So it's very low inventory and the very high demand from the buyers. So it has been a you know bidding wars and that's the reason the market price has gone really high and that's what you know logically you know many people are getting questioned like should we invest right now because when you're buying property for you as a first time home buyers you don't have much choice because if you're living in a rental you are you know you're saving that rent and that's why you're investing however when the investor as a just clearly for the rental purpose or for flipping purpose somebody invests in that case they have clear mindset of making profit and always we have that logic you know if you don't find house in a deal the deal is basically the below market value then you think that it's not a good idea so this bidding wars the high price the very high appreciation happened in just last six to eight months made everybody confused right as an investor also that is this a good market to buy before we go to the next point and if you're liking this content make sure you do the thumbs up and 
Also comment me below like what do you think about the content what we are making in case any suggestions you have I would love to hear from you I would love to have more engagement happening in this uh, in this channel so that it just encouraged me to make to more and more videos you know so uh, okay let's go to now our next point so now let's talk about uh, is this the benefit to buy or is this a good time to buy the investment property so you got to think number one is is this the short-term goal or long-term goal so this is something if you are going to keep it for a couple of years at least then it is a great time to buy because see if the market even though let's assume it's going to crash or some kind of correction happens then also it is benefited to investor because the rental will be going up so if you see logically what happened in a previous times and the, what the experts have analyzed the only possible way to crash this market is somehow we got to have the more inventory so one of the reason could be when this forbearance help government takes away from the families then however is very less chances it would even hit the crash it can be the correction market where you know maybe the market make a correction such a way you know it's not how it is going up maybe there will be the time it stays in certain limit so many people in 2008 lost thousands of dollars or got bankrupt was invested in the big term properties because that time the terms where the lender was using was not too strict so even the income level evaluations or you know many people were buying duplexes triplexes not having even even enough income and the interest rates were very high in contrast right now if you are buying the interest rates are crazily low so this not been happening even last 20 to 25 years that much low we are getting the interest rate however it's changing every week but it's been staying low the whole year we have experienced that uh, that's like always questionable like everything is not in our control like when this pandemic started we didn't know right i mean it just overnight started so many countries and it's internationally affected every everybody in the uh, on an economic standpoint we were assuming the real estate market will go down when this is this thing started but in contrast the real estate market becomes so strong did not see that coming so you have to understand back end of the real estate market to predict something so if you see right now the why it got strong because it's an inventory problem right so many people not getting convinced to put the house in market even though now they are convinced then the prices went up so they cannot buy something what price what they wanted to so it's like a mindset shift it's needed in the buyers to buy something right now however when we calculate the interest rate benefit and somewhat higher price you are paying compared to last year still buyer has a win-win situation this is a win 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 scenario for everyone but it's a big mindset shift because of this bidding wars they have to put the very strong offers have to be the appraisals so many things we got to do it on an investor standpoint if i talk about we are still buying on for the investor for the rental properties because we have the leverage of cash even though many of the buyers are there in a market but if you are targeting the condos townhouses they don't have that much inventory problem most of the condos townhouses are with the investors very rarely or you know few percentage they are with the first time home buyers or the owners owner occupied so those investor whole condos many of the people are putting in market because you know they bought it in long time back and of course this is a seller's market so they are making money so in general the inventory wise it's not that low compared to the single family houses so that's another thing you got to make a strategy what kind of investor investment you are doing are the condo townhouses single family houses duplex multiplex so you got to decide 
Another thing I've, I've seen a big shift happening in a multi-family houses. A lot of owners of multi-families are facing the issues for the, because of this eviction problems. People are not paying able to rent, so they have to evict. There are a lot of things happen in this last year, so unexpected expenses, they had to take over. So now they have gone a little bit inside the water and that's why many of them are making a decision to sell. So now before we go to the secret, like, you know, you should buy or should not buy, you know, I hope you are liking my content. If you're liking, then you hit that little, little, little like sign. It just takes you a second, but it does help my algorithm. And this can reach to other people who are in need of looking those. Um, and it helps my algorithm. So ultimate answer is like, should you invest in this market or no? So the answer is yes. Yes. Definitely. You can because think as this long-term strategy, anything is going to come in a market is not going to crash like 2008. But you know, there's always a roller coaster in the real estate. It doesn't stay stagnant, even though it's going up. I'm sure it's not going to stay like this forever. But again, we don't know when it's going to take a turn. However, the taking a turn like this is it's difficult it's it's almost impossible but yes it can take a turn like this where it's staying stagnant and slowly maybe come to the recorrection market so in that case you are making more profit because you have a higher rent uh, because the rental market is more stronger if in case that kind of correction is coming at the same time you are buying something at the lowest interest rate so that also works on your benefit and basically, you know, the monthly mortgage is not going crazy high. If you are, let's say you're investing first time, the simple formula to see, you know, if this is a good deal or not, just compare between your rent and the mortgage. Is there anything you're putting from your pocket or not? That will tell the answer clearly to you if you should invest or you should take this deal or not so i hope this video kind of you know made it more clear to you that should you invest or should you not invest in this market and if any questions if anything you want to know more detail of course in this 10 minutes video it's hard to compile every single piece however i'm trying to educate you being my viewer i want to give you all kind of knowledge what I know about the market about the things in around in real estate or about Florida I hope you're liking this and make sure you hit that like button and if you want me to make any other topics comment me below